Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Gypsy Rose Blanchard. All right, so today we're going to be talking about Gypsy Rose Blanchard and what she's been up to since she's been out of prison because she's been out of prison since December 2023. Now, if you don't know who Gypsy Rose Blanchard is, I'll give you a little backstory, just a quick one. So Gypsy Rose went to prison back in 2016 when she pleaded guilty for second degree murder of her mother. She conspired with her boyfriend at the time, Nicholas, who is now sentenced to life for the murder of her mother, Dee Dee. Now, Gypsy Rose was neglected and had severe child abuse from her mother, Dee Dee. My mother controlled everything I did. I was forced to use a wheelchair. She started telling people that I had cancer. <laughs> 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 and Gypsy thought the only way out of this situation, I'm not laughing, but the only way out of this situation was to kill her mother. So her and her boyfriend at the time, I think they met online, conspired to kill her. He killed Gypsy's mum, Dee Dee. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine that whole conversation. But if you want to hear more of like the backstory, backstory, go check out her documentary on Netflix. It gets right in there. It gets more in depth. So since Gypsy has been released, she gained 9.8 million followers on TikTok in within like three weeks of her being released. Ever since she has been released, there's been paparazzi fo photos of her. She has gone on to TV interviews with like E.T., The View, Good Morning America. Gypsy Rose Blanchard made Gypsy Rose Blanchard. When she came out, the whole world was obsessed with Gypsy. They wanted to know what has been up. Right now we have with us the queen herself, Miss Gypsy, Gypsy, Gypsy Rose Blanchard, fresh out of prison. How are you, bitch? <laughs> now, how does it feel? Feel to be a free woman. Amazing. Now, how are we feeling these days? Are we missing mom? Are we happy mom's not here? What's the situation? What's the vibe? Like, give the girl a break. She's just gotten out of prison for second degree murder here. She moved in with her husband when she was released, Ryan. They actually met when she was in prison through like a prison pen pal program. So they got married while she was still in prison back in July of 2022. So they even had a ceremony in jail for their wedding, which is insane to me because I can't imagine being married in prison with a pen pal. And they obviously probably met a few times before they just got married, you know. Three months out, she announces that her and Ryan are separating. And apparently TMZ reported that they're separating because he has a hoarding issue with expired food in their fridge. And that was causing huge arguments over Ryan's hoarding situations. Wouldn't throw away old food in the fridge. <laughs> Is this real? Like, yeah. don't throw away the spoiled milk. Now, don't get me wrong. I like to have my fair share of things. Expired foods, probably not one of them. But what I'm saying is when you're, like, married to someone and then living with someone, it's a completely different thing. And I think she probably discovered that only being three months out of prison. So she announces that her and Ryan are separating. Then she ends up filing for divorce not long after and... Then she files for a temporary restraining order against Ryan. Gypsy Rose Blanchard filed for a restraining order against her estranged husband, Ryan Anderson, just days after filing for divorce. Blanchard is also requesting spousal support from Anderson, claiming she is in need and he has the ability to pay. This girl has lived more of a life than I have had in a year's time. Like, girl's been out of prison for three months and she's already filing for divorce. And when she announced her separation, her and her ex-fiance, Ken, get so juicy, Ken got matching tattoos in Louisiana. And her matching tattoos are these like matching wolf's tattoos on their arms. I'll insert a photo. They got matching tattoos. So her and Ken are back on. Gypsy Rose moves on quick because she's back with her ex-fiance, Ken, and they also got matching tattoos. She met Ken through the same pen pal program and was engaged in 2018 and then she called it off in 2019. This girl knows how to attract a man. Like, girl, I've never been married and you're like got an ex-fiance and you've got a divorce going on. Like, her and Ken are now a thing. 
Ooh, Jazzy. What's the secret to keeping that flame alive? Um, he's actually going to be moving to Louisiana to be closer to me, so. She also has a reality TV show coming out in June called Life After Lockup, which is going to be on Lifetime TV. I think that's an American channel. So that's coming out. She's got her own reality TV show. She's been blowing up on social media, on mainstream media. The world has gone crazy for Gypsy. But there has been a bit of a downfall, some negative opinions out there about her. It now seems like a lot of people are turning against her. Many are saying that she is a master manipulator who only is concerned with fame and that's why she only follows a handful of social media accounts and they're all media outlets like TMZ and things like that. A lot of people also don't love the fact that her ex-boyfriend, who is the one who committed the murder against her mother, is still in jail while she's out free and getting this like huge national press tour. But here's another thing that makes me wonder if she is in fact a master manipulator. She says that she doesn't identify as a murderer because her ex-boyfriend is the one who committed the murder, right? Like it's something yeah. that I'm going to have to address yeah. because it's always in my comments. Like, why are we glorifying a murderer and this and that and the other? Yeah. And, um, you know, I don't want to have to remind people every single time that I'm not the one that committed the act of the kill. Recently, Gypsy Rose posted a Mother's Day TikTok about her mom and it was quite a mature TikTok video, I will say, and how she remembers her mom being the good woman that she was and she's talking about the other women who also help raise her and were an inspiration. And wonderful women that I have in my life that have been mother figures to me over the last eight and a half years. What I choose to feel on Mother's Day regarding my own mother is that I think the best of her. And the internet had a lot to say about Gypsy mentioning her mum in the video, which I can kind of understand why. Take a look around. Do you see her anywhere? News flash. You're not gonna. Because when you look at it in a real black and white situation, you're thinking you were just in prison for second degree murder for your mom, and now you're coming out with this video, this TikTok. It is shocking to me that she can still find positive things about her. But it's also so wild that she would make that video when everybody remembers what happened. She then goes on to thank um, the other women in her life, her stepmom, and um, you know wishes them a happy Mother's Day. But it's just such a wild time to be alive that a person who served time for the M of their own mother's mother um, is, is like making a TikTok video about it. The TikTok has now been deleted and it's the only way you can sort of watch it is repost. So the internet had definitely a lot of opinions about her Mother's Day video, and I completely understand why it is a bit insane. Would I post a video like that if I did that to my own mum? Probably not because the internet is a crazy place and people are definitely going to have an opinion about that. But the latest news, which I just discovered, is apparently Gypsy is now silencing other creators for Munch and House syndrome by proxy. That is a tongue twister for me to say, so bear with me. So there's this other creator on TikTok, Kate. I have fought to overcome my trauma. I love being able to advocate and raise awareness about Munchausen syndrome by proxy so that I can one day help others. I want people to know that they can break that cycle. They can overcome their trauma. They don't have to be anything like you. Kate went through some child abuse. She went through the same thing and she was speaking out about it. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a little tickle. She was speaking out about that on TikTok and apparently Gypsy is trying to silence her or she is copying her own TikToks about this. And so I don't know if I agree with this. Yes, she went through this, but this girl, Kate, really wants to talk about the survival of it, more information, make other people feel like they're not alone. And Gypsy is trying to say that I'm the only one who can advocate for it and that she is the face of Munchenhausen syndrome by proxy. I have to say it really fast, otherwise I'm just lost. But you will know who this is about um, and I can drop it in the comments. So there is the face of Munchenhausen syndrome by proxy out there. This face of it um, believes they have sole ownership of it as if it is an advertisement title. They are against other survivors sharing their story. So there's this whole beef on TikTok that 
this girl, this creator is not allowed to say it. Gypsy is the only one allowed to talk about it. And now there's a big debacle over it. I have been targeted um, by her uh, most recently, but even prior to that, I was targeted by her stands, as they call them. I have had some horrible comments. I have been put down. I have been told that I'm stealing from this person. I don't think that's okay. I really don't. I think a lot of people can speak out about something. Um, I don't think Gypsy is the only one who suffered it. I think Gypsy is a very public figure about the situation, but I don't think she should be silencing other creators. I think that is quite toxic, and I don't think that is really empowering other women to speak up about it or other children to speak up about it. Not just women, I'm sure it happens to boys as well, but other people can speak about it. I don't agree with what Gypsy is doing there. I think that's quite wrong. So Gypsy has had more life experience than I have in my 30 years of living. She's gone to prison. She second degree murder. Oh. And now she's come out to be this public figure and celebrity. And I don't know if we should be glorifying someone who has done this. I don't believe in the glorification of murder. I do believe in the empowerment of women. And I think we might be better off if we just leave her alone, find her groove. But the crazy thing is we're glorifying a criminal. I'm not saying she doesn't deserve a second chance. She definitely does. But she, she also put her boyfriend at the time in prison for life. He's still doing his time. And that's pretty rough. You know, he thought he was doing something for the love of his life. I want to ask you, why did you agree to do this interview with us? The reason why I've agreed to do this interview was because when uh, I noticed that my ex co defendant, Gypsy Blanchard, got a lot of attention, as she did, and she just kept on getting more and more attention, mm -hmm. I felt that it's been tipped in one side of the scale to where I really wasn't getting much coverage. I wasn't being able to actually be able to voice my opinion. I wasn't able to let everyone know what I truly feel. I just know that she knows. She knows that I've taken the responsibility for mine already. I still have feelings for her. Of course, I will always have feelings for her. But uh, every, every human being needs to grow and learn from their mistakes. And she's just going, it, going on with her world with freaking Ryan and Ken and whatnot. And she apparently has... Apparently, this is definitely an apparent thing. Google net worths are definitely a hit or miss. Apparently, she has $3 million net worth and she's just gone out of prison. She's just been out of prison for, since December and they're saying she has a net worth of $3 million, which is insane. I think there's a lot more people who probably deserve the money. I'm just saying. I don't want to be that guy. So <clears throat> do you think... Gypsy should be glorified or have such a big platform or be in mainstream media for the things that she has done or do you think she should be more advocating for Munchenhausen syndrome by proxy? I, all I know is that she, she's with Ken, she's made a Mother's Day TikTok that no one liked and who knows what's in store for Gypsy. This could be her 15 minutes of fame again. Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. We'll see what happens when her reality TV show comes out because I'm sure that will get a lot of a lot of opinions and commentaries about that. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.